Hello everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you to this new video. In this video, I am going to show you how to run C and C++ program on Visual Studio Code. So, uh, in Visual Studio Code, uh, if you have newly installed uh, this Visual Studio Code, then if you try to run any C or C++ program, then it won't run as uh, there is no GCC compiler. So let me just show you that. So let's create a file demo.c. So this is a C file. So now I'm going to write a simple hello world program and run it. So now let's run this program. So as you can see here, it is showing this error that GCC is not recognized. Uh, so we need this uh, GCC compiler to run the C program. Now uh, let me just create a, a new file and I'm going to save it as demo.cpp. That means C++. Now I'm going to write a hello world program in C++. Okay, now let's run this program. So as you can see here, this also wants this to execute this program. So we need uh, these compilers to uh, compile this and run these so in this video I am going to show you uh, how you can install the GCC compiler and run uh, these C and C++ programs so first of all uh, the softwares that you need to install are if you don't have Visual Studio Code so yeah first of all you will need to download and uh, install the Visual Studio Code from uh, the official website that is code.visualstudio.com so download the latest version of visual uh, studio code from there and then after the second uh, file that you will need is uh, the min gw so the min gw uh, is minimalistic gnu for windows so it is uh, going to help us in uh, installing the GCC compiler so it is a windows port for the uh, GNU compiler collection that is GCC so you will need to download it from uh, this uh, website so I'll give you uh, the link for both of these in the description down below so you can check that out in the description and then after and then after uh, you have to install the GCC using this software so I have this setup already downloaded now I'm going to execute it and here this uh, pop-up window will appear here you have to click on install and then continue so now it is going to uh, download and install this uh, manager So as you can see here, uh, the installation is completed. Now during the installation, you don't have to do anything. It is going to download and install this manager automatically. And you just have to make sure that your system is connected to the internet. So now uh, I'm clicking on continue. And this is the installation manager. So here uh, I am in the basic settings menu and these are the packages so the package uh, that we have to install is this package the gcc and g++ uh, compiler package so i'm going to uh, click on it and this uh, pop-up will appear so we have to uh, click on this mark for installation and then after uh, go to this uh, installation tab and click on apply changes 
and here click on apply so now this is going to download and install the uh, GCC and G++ compilers so this is going to take some time so I'm going to skip this part so as you can see here the changes were applied successfully and now let's close this and let's close this also now if we open visual studio code and if we run this uh, c program again then as you can see here it is still showing this uh, error so now what we have to do is we have to go to uh, the place where uh, this is installed so as you can see here in C drive min GW this is installed and here is the bin file so in bin file if you uh, notice then you can see that the GCC and uh, G++ uh, exe files are here so here you will have to copy this path that is C drive then min GW and bin and then uh, you are allowed to paste it into uh, the environment variable so here uh, you have to right click on this PC and go into properties and then into advanced system settings and here uh, click on the environment variables and here you have to select this path and click on edit and here you have to click on new and paste that copied path here and then click on ok ok and now uh, you will have to exit and restart the visual studio now let's open our file so demo.c and demo.c++ so now let's run this file first so as you can see here we have this output so this works so now let's run the demo.c++ file Okay, so now let's run this program. So as you can see here, this program is uh, completed running successfully. So this is how you can uh, run the C and C++ program in Visual Studio Code. So if you like this video, then click on that like button. And if you want to see more of these videos, then click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. So that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next one.